Hi, Neil here from Portainer. One of the questions we get asked regularly is how to configure Mac VLAN driver in Docker using Portainer. Uh, it's not as simple as you might think, so I'm just going to give you a walkthrough of how to do it. So first up, I have a two node swarm cluster, node one and node two. The first thing you need to do before you get started is on each node, find out the name that is assigned to your network interface card. So the easiest way is just IP address, find the name here that is assigned. So you can see this is the IP address of my Docker host. This is the network card uh, name, so ENS160. Could be ETH0, ENS160, um, BR0 for bridge, uh, but basically you need to know this name. Same on the other host, IP DDR, more. Again, ENS160. Okay, so now we know that. We can bring up a Portana instance. Now, this is a Portana instance. As you can see, there's the two node swarm cluster that we have in here. So, the very first thing we need to do is go to networks. So, add a network. Uh, let's give it a name Mac VLAN config swarm. Change the driver to Mac VLAN. Now, you'll notice here that you've got two options configuration and creation. Now, creation is currently disabled because we don't yet have a valid configuration file. The way that MacVLAN works is MacVLAN is a definition and it is it is deployed on demand whenever you have a, a container or service that needs to use the MacVLAN driver uh, and it reads a configuration file that exists on one or more hosts. The configuration file is the specifics for how the MacVLAN is to be configured for that node. So first of all, configuration. Here we put in the network card, ENS160. Now, most people would simply think, okay, well, I need to select both nodes in my cluster, like this, and I go and give it networking information. Well, if you do this, if you select both nodes of the cluster, uh, unfortunately, they, th there's, there's no smarts in Swarm to ensure that it is not assigning the same IP address. So if I was to do this, select both nodes, and go and give an IP range, uh, the moment that I deployed a service on host number one, they would assign the first IP from the IP range. Host number one again, second container, second IP address from the IP range. If we then started a, a container on node two, it would go back to the first IP from the IP range and you end up in an IP, in an IP conflict. So we actually have to deploy a, a config file for every single node of the cluster. So Mac VLAN swarm config, just copy that for next time. And here, our subnet. Now, my subnet is 192.168.1.0 slash 24. That's my subnet here. And my gateway is 192.168.1.1. Now, the IP range that I want to assign containers, assign two containers on, on node 1, is 192.168.1.16 with a 29-bit subnet. Now, if I had a machine already in that IP range that I needed to exclude. I could do 192.168.1.17 and it would exclude that uh, from the scope for uh, issuing two containers. I don't need to do that. Okay, so 192.168.1.0, 24-bit. This is my router for that subnet and this is the IP range. Now, remember, we're simply doing subnetting here so you actually get to use uh, all of the IP addresses, including the network and the broadcast address, because we're not actually using this for routing. So you would get 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23 IP addresses available. We're just using this to partition. So create, add again, same name, Mac VLAN. Don't don't click creation. Still click still click configuration. NS160. Now node two. Same thing, 192.168.1.0 slash 24, 192.168.1.1. IP range, this on this host is 192.168.1.32 slash 29. Again, I have nothing to exclude. And again, on this one, any containers on node 2 will be assigned IPs 32, 33, 34, 35, right the way up to 39. So create the network. So here's our two two networks, one for each host, node one, node two. Now I go, okay, add my real network. And so now 
I'm actually adding my Mac VLAN network. So Mac VLAN, this time creation. Now you'll see here we've actually got two of them. Doesn't actually matter. The name is what's matched. So you can choose either one of these two. It actually is irrelevant. When you deploy it, uh, it'll simply go and find uh, on the host a configuration by this name and use it. So just choose the first one. Uh, if you want to manually add containers to this network, you've got to click, do it, got to enable this container. Um, I'm going to be using services, uh, as you should, with Swarm, so just ignore it for now. Create. Okay, so Mac VLAN. Come into services. I'm going to add a service. I'm going to call it Busy Box. Busy, oops, type it right. Busy Box Global. So it's going to be one container on each host. Ping. 127.0.0.1 just to keep the container alive. Networks. Select a network. Mac VLAN. Create the service. Just wait for it to, to go live. This is actually creating the Mac VLAN network in the background from that config file. Again, it's created on demand on the host. Okay, now running. If I go to containers. Just narrow down so you can see busy box here. You can see here container one on node one has been assigned IP address 16. Container two on host two has been assigned container 32. If I console to this, see here I've been assigned 16. I can ping my gateway 192.168.1.1 and I can ping Google. And I can ping the other container as well, 192.168.1.32. So that's the other container. So that is how you configure Mac VLAN uh, in Docker Swarm and 